Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, what I want to do with you today, because you're in the business, you're looking at uh, mortgages, purchases uh, a lot more frequently than I do. Uh, you have clients around the country. Uh, I actually want to pull up an article that summarizes last month's new home sales. And the reason I want to do this is uh, because if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, I've been saying things that people didn't think was possible. I've been saying, and you've probably heard me say, transactions are going to fall. I think total transactions will fall 25% this year, ultimately close to 50% peak to trough. And I've said, surprising many, that the median home price would not crash. And again, that's because of what I believe is fundamentally, I believe housing is fundamentally broken. The fact that we can have housing transactions crash without price drops tells you how broken housing is. So I'm gonna pull up an article that I think gives you just the raw data. You, can, you can't argue the data because it's just information. You can absolutely argue and interpret differently if you'd like, but what I wanna do is pull it up because a lot of people don't understand what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is the housing market is broken, specifically first time home buyers. And because that is so broken, it's going to distort the median home price. The median home price is a number. It is the most frequently quoted number when you are talking housing. It is not about your market. It's not even about your state. It's a national number. And oh, by the way, fact be said, prices could come down and the median price could still go up. Like wrap your mind around that one if it's distorted enough. So I want to bring up this article. It is about new home sales. It's the only data I have, but I think it shows what I believe is happening in the market. You want to take a look? Yeah. And just for clarity, you're talking new home, like new construction? New construction, yes. Okay. Yeah, new construction. So hopefully you can see this. So this came out yesterday, CNBC. So first and foremost, we're just going to go through the headlines and we're going to go through the article because I think the devil is in the detail. And again, my opinion, housing market is broken. The low end first time homeowner, broken. The move up buyer, broken. Unfortunately, that means the median house price that will be reported is going higher. It's just how math works. Yeah. So here we go. First and foremost, newly bid homes, Newly built homes sank to the slowest rate uh, since the pandemic. So again, it is changing and changing quickly. Lo and behold, line two, the price, again, the median, folks, the median home price went up to 450 grand or 20% above last year. Median which, which like all, I'll be honest here. Mm -hmm. When we keep quoting the year over year home price appreciation, it's kind of silly, right? Because it doesn't give you like a finger on the pulse on like what's going on today. Like, well, no shit. Homes are more expensive than they were last year. When you look at it, you know, year over year, this April versus last April, this but, March versus last March. But people, but I got to tell you, there are so many people bought into the crash videos, right? We have a channel that's talking about Zillow pointing at crashes. And that's, again, if you're, people are talking about a crash and the median home price is the number that's quoted by everyone. Kay Schiller, NAR, all of these folks. And again, I believe the housing market is so broken. Even if housing prices came down, the median price is going to go up because the housing market is broken. That's what I'm trying to share. And we'll get into those details in a minute. Yeah. Again, the housing market is broken. Look at this. Prices up 20%, but now we have a nine-month supply of homes. It has changed overnight. Home builders are going to give discounts. Home builders are going to play cozy and costs. Home builders are going to buy points or uh, rate, rate buy downs or whatever they're called. The market is changing quickly. Slower sales cause the inventory of newly built homes to jump sharply as well to a nine. Is she saying, and, and, I, and I, you know, I, I take everything from Diana Olick with a grain of salt because she's been <laughs> so wrong for so <laughs> long. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her heart. Yeah. yeah. Um, is she, is she saying that we've got a nine month supply of ready to deliver homes or no. a nine month supply of, of like, where are they in the process? So that's, so this is an important caveat. You gotta, we always have to know about what metric we're talking about. New home sales in this, this, these numbers are not finished. 
These are contracts to purchase. And again, these people can back out. So this could be anywhere from completed home you're signing, right? It was not bought, but as you know, most new homes are built or, or uh, in contract early, then they close in six months. So this could be anywhere in that. This is not completed homes. Okay. Which seems like a distorted number, right? Because it's like, if they did a bunch of like the, the number of new builds and the number of permits, mm -hmm. like mid 2020 to end of 21, like that 18 month period, mm -hmm. a ton of building was going on. Yeah. And so if we're in contract, and we're closing in July, we're closing in August, we're closing in September, and we're exactly. counting all that inventory, mm -hmm. even though it's sold. And I know it's not officially sold, it's not done, but someone's in contract to buy it. Mm -hmm. Like, it seems to me to, to reason that like, of course, there's more supply. There's just more kind of in the process. Yeah. I, what I think this is saying is that interest rates matter, right? First and foremost, cancellations are up, which means inventory comes back on. Um, it's just, it's just slower. It's just that interest rates matter. And we'll get into more details. These are just the headlines. Okay. Yeah. More, yeah. Cause, more, cause I agree with you on that too. And, and I would even say a reason for new home sales specifically to, to, to slump, mm -hmm. um, would be somebody's afraid six yeah, exactly. months, nine months, 12 months out. I'm closing. Jump. I don't know what the heck my interest rate's going to be. If I barely qualify now, how the heck am I going to know for sure if I qualify nine months from now? Exactly. And job loss is a real thing, right? It's happening. So again, now into the article, which is really important, right? So first and foremost, 16% drop month to month, 27% year on year, right? These are transactions or contract signing. The annual rate, because they annualized the month is 591 when they expected 750. So that's a 20% miss. Wow. Okay. But again, we're getting to what the important thing here is in a minute. Um, yeah, again, I just got to go through the article. Again, interest rates matter, right? The average rate now is up to 541, again, in a month from 488. Again, interest rates matter. Median prices we saw earlier, but this is why I think housing is so broken, right? So median transactions down, I don't know, whatever it is, 26% or 20%, but values are up and it's because of what's below here. Let me find it. Where's oh man? Where's the article? It talked about new homes by market trends. Damn it, this is not the article. There's an art. Where is it? Let me just see if they have another article below. I mean, one thing that, like, you know, I'm not always sunshine and rainbows, and I'm not always anti Diana Olick, mm -hmm. but I, I would, I would say that, you know, it's when looking at data and knowing that you can manipulate data in kind of different ways, depending on what narrative you're, you're spinning. Mm -hmm. If, if new home sales were absolutely booming mm -hmm. and now they're down 15%, 20%, like where is that compared to the average? Where is that compared to what we'd expect to see? Um, if it's still above trend line or it's still like, you know, home sales are up, but not as high as they were at their peak. It's, it's something different. And I, I guess, that's not me saying, you know, I've got data support. That's me kind of guessing, mm -hmm. saying that like a ton of building was going on. A ton of people were buying new builds. Um, you know, interest rates are something that, that, you know, I made a video that talked about like the cons of buying a new build. And one of those cons for sure is it's not closing 30 days from now in right. most cases. Like a lot of this new build stuff is not finished, ready to be delivered, you go buy it and you move in in 30 days, you've got six, nine, 12 months of uncertainty with, with mortgage rates to think about what's, what's happening there. But, um, you know, I, I'm not surprised, um, you know, as a whole to see sales, you know, total sales down. And, yeah. and I think that's, that's something that you've spoke quite a bit about is, is the fact that, you know, prices might not be down, but the number of sales for mm -hmm. sure. Um, yeah. I want to find this because it's the, my real point in all this is the housing market is just flat out broken and it's because of the low end. I mean, I have the numbers I wrote down from the article, but I want to pull it up so everybody can see it. I'm just trying to find it in real time. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is why the housing market is broken. Sales of entry-level homes, and they're calling entry-level $300,000, made up less than 
when it used to be 38% in 2020. Wow. So the reason the median price is up, right? You basically take all the transaction, lay them end to end, and median is in the middle. If you whack half of the entry level homes, the median price goes up. It's just math. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying, and again, it, the really odd thing about math and the median price is you could have the higher level homes actually come down in price. But if we lose the entry level, the median goes up. So everybody reporting median home prices, we are going to get the median home price surprising to the upside. And I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to explain it. And it's because housing is broken. In this case, builders are not building cheap homes. It was most profitable for a long time to build the bigger homes. I believe what has to happen is builders will blow out what they have now. And then they have to build smaller homes. You can't have such a lack of supply on the low end, right? So again, the median home price a year from now, it might crater if builders start building more cheaper homes. Yeah. You know, what's a crazy stat. Um, and, and it was in a video I made uh, last Saturday, I think. Um, you know what the average size new built home is square footage wise, Mike? I'm going to guess 2,400. Yeah. It's like 2,570 or something, but that's, that's a big home. No. And that's why, because again, for a long time, that was what was most profitable and it worked when rates were low. Why not? We're not in that environment. Housing is broken. We need, we need to feed entry-level homes. And right now, they're getting crushed by interest rates. They're backing out of contracts. They're nervous for their jobs. And like, I think everybody would agree, you know, politicians, real estate investors, everybody that like their stats galore that support, like we need to build more affordable housing. I think, me and you have talked about different ways to, to do things and different ways to help first-time home buyers. Like first and foremost, easiest fix, in my opinion, make it easier for builders. Because I know for sure, talking with builders associations, seeing some numbers, like to, to put uh, uh, the first stake in the ground in California, I can't remember what the number was, but it was ridiculous. It's like, a hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah, it's, it's it, I try. So I tried to build some homes on land that I own in my market, and they wanted half a million dollars up front. Not even approve the deal. Not even approve building. Half a million bucks to do that. I'm like, forget you. Yeah, and so so that's part of the problem, right? Is like if 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 in California you can't even build it for less than three hundred, you you can rest assured it's not coming to market for less than three hundred. You know, and part of the fact that this went from thirty eight percent down to twenty is just that like natural, you know, price increases, mm -hmm. that stuff's going to, going to continually um, shed on the lower end. Um, but I, I think a big part of that is just like all the red tape. And I don't know if other states are as bad as California, but in well, California, yeah. it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. And again, my whole point about transactions going down and median price going up is the housing market is broken. We have lost the entry level. And more importantly, we broke the move up buyer, right? You, you talked about your example last week. I've talked to dozens of people in the last seven days. They're saying, Michael, you're right. I'm not selling. I would normally sell. I'm sitting on a hundred grand in equity. I want to be in a better school district. I want to do this. I want to, I'm not moving. The, the, the entry level home is not transactive. We're going to see the same thing in existing home sales. Existing home sales that mark the part of the market that is still white hot is that low level because there's no inventory. So if you whack half of what normal transactions would be, median price is going to surprise to the upside. It is going to continually surprise to the upside until we fix the broken housing market. That has been my point all along. People don't seem to get it. They seem to be upset with me because it's, it's just math. Median price goes up, transactions go down when you lose the low end. The housing market is broken. I'm sorry. You got a point, brother. Yeah, and and the, and the fact that that there's you know always going to be demand at the bottom. It's 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 like when folks talk about apartments and and whatnot. You know, through through economic economic tough times, like A plus apartments are hard to rent, but there's plenty yeah. of demand at the C level because A's turn to B's and B's turn to C's. 
and and everybody can afford the bottom end or at least the you know vast majority and i think the same thing's going to happen with housing somebody who's going to buy at 500 interest rates have gone up different things have, have happened to change affordability so like now everybody's at that entry level um or or vast majority of people and there's just going to be a lot of demand there yeah. um the housing I mean, mar- the housing market's going to stay broken until we fix entry level first time home buyer homes and there's And unfortunately, it's going to be broken for a couple of years. What I want investors to realize is there are sellers that are going to be truly motivated. And I think motivated sellers go up from here. I think there would be motivated sellers throughout the spectrum, luxury homes, middle homes, move up homes. I think builders, I think there's going to be a lot of pain in the housing market. And if you are an investor, it is time to go get a great deal. Go get a discount, write offers under list. There's going to be plenty of motivated sellers. And just because the median price goes up on a national level, it doesn't mean you can't get a great deal. In fact, I challenge you to get a great deal. Right offers below ask. Do great yields, cash on cash. We talk about it all the time. It's the time to find motivated sellers. And again, motivated sellers, as Greg Dickerson tells us all the time, they can be builders. Builders will slash first. Greg Dickerson is a building. He's my, uh, is, is a builder. He is my Monday expert. He says, Michael, you want to see real pain? Go look at builders. They will slash quick. They're slash early. Builders are already cutting. It's an interesting time. Yeah. I, I think it'll be interesting to see where, where the, you know, extra cash and where, and where, you know, the demand kind of holds that floor up. Because I think, you know, when we saw interest rates go up in the past, when we saw different things happen where, where you, might have expected more of a decline in, in home prices. Mm-hmm. Um, the the demand from investors, the demand from you know folks who are just sitting on cash and and just you know we printed a lot of money in the last yeah. two years mm-hmm. um, creates a floor where it's it's almost impossible to see too much of a decline. I think that's where people might get lost too, right? Is like you know all this stuff you're hearing. Don't think that you're going to go out and get a twenty five percent discount on something. June of 2022. It's just not going to happen unless you find some crazy wild scenario where the sellers, you know, desperate and can't sell for, for certain reasons. But, um, you know, there, there are deals to be had. The, the, the softening we're seeing is making it easier. Um, which to me is, is, is a win in itself. Mm -hmm. If you were a buyer over the last couple of years, whether it's investor or owner, it was hard. Yeah, that, that's the real point of all this. If you're an investor or a new homeowner, you can flush all of your experience from last year, the FOMO of, of buyers just writing stupid offers. and all. It's not open houses are less attended, more inventory is coming, days on market is going longer. I, if you need to buy and there's some situations you have to buy, do a great deal. Don't rush. Just because you can write a 50K over ask doesn't mean you have to, right? Maybe today, because I still get comments, oh, my market is still hot. Well, will it be hot again in six months? This The housing market is broken. It is changing right now. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, to that point um, where I would say some of like the stories I'm hearing and what I'm experiencing, um, you know, might be, be contrary to that, is that like there's, there's markets inside of markets. Oh, yeah. Right. And there's going to be a very attractive neighborhood, a very attractive home type, a very attractive, whatever it is, you know, three bed and one and a half bath in San Diego, where I call the list side and we're 160 above ask. Wow. He's like, you guys aren't even in the fucking game. Wow. The, the, this thing's going to go for one eight. And we were at one six five, um, which, you know, yeah, there's is, still there, there, there are those houses. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a crazy time. Again, what I'm telling investors and buyers to do is write great deals. All right. You're going to, if you're a homeowner, you're going to be there for 10 years. Don't rush. Don't, don't, don't do anything silly. Um, again, getting on the property ladder, house hacking, cheat code to wealth, all these things are a great time. We're still going to do 4 million transactions this year, not six and a half. Um, so if you are looking to get a deal done or you want somebody to kind of look over a quote you've got from other mortgage broker, how do you want them to reach out? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com. Fill out that form. We'll be in touch very, very soon. Awesome, buddy. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.